Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to the FCCJ. I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to uh, Masao <clears throat> Uchibori, uh, the governor of Fukushima Prefecture. Um, as we approach the 10th an anniversary of the disaster in Fukushima, we're very much looking forward to hearing from him how things have progressed or how things have not progressed in some instances um, towards recovery. Um, Mr. Uchibori is a, has been a very distinguished um, contributor to the uh, recovery efforts. He was vice governor at the time of the disaster and was subsequently elected governor. So there's no better person to hear from um, in regard to how Fukush Fukushima is now faring. Um, so the, the governor will give a presentation and then we'll move on to a question and answer session after that. So uh, with no further ado, uh, governor, please. So good morning, and I'm very glad to have the opportunity to speak with you all today at this venue, the FCCJ. I am Uchibori Masao, the governor of Fukushima Prefecture. まず初めに2011年の東日本大震災と原発事故以降、皆さん、そして世界中の多くの方々から福島県に対する温かい応援をいただいたことに心から感謝申し上げます。ありがとうございます。So first of all, I would like to express my sincere gratitude for the warm support given by you and many people both in Japan and internationally towards Fukushima since the Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami of 2011. それでは今日私からタイトルは福島の未来ということでパワーポイントに沿ってプレゼンテーションさせていただきます。So the title of my speech today is the future of Fukushima and I would like to share this with you using slides. 福島という地名は残念ながら2011年以降世界でとても有名な地名になりました。Unfortunately, as a result of the disaster in 2011, the name of Fukushima has become very well known around the world. The reason that its name has become so well known is because Fukushima has suffered from the compound disaster of the earthquake, tsunami, the nuclear power plant disaster, and also harmful rumors. So and on top of that as well, with each year that passes by, we have the additional challenge of the memories of the disaster fading. このように厳しい状況にある福島がこれから未来を開いていくために大切なキーワードを今日は2つ皆さんにお示しをしながら話を進めていきたいと思います。But looking towards the future of Fukushima, which is indeed experiencing such great difficulties, there are two particular keywords that I would like to use uh, as I speak with you today. 1つ目のキーワード、それは光と影です。the first of these is the light and dark sides. 光というのはこの10年間で福島の復興が着実に前に進んでいることを指します。The light side refers to those areas where Fukushima has made steady progress forward over the past 10 years. 影というのは10年経っても福島県がまだまだ難しく重い課題を抱えていることを示します。on the other hand, the dark side refers to the various yet very difficult issues that we are still facing within uh, Fukushima, even as 10 years have passed. So I would first like to begin with some concrete examples of the light side where the recovery of Fukushima is indeed moving forward. 福島県はこれまで原発事故の影響を取り除くため除染という作業を一生懸命進めて2018年には避難エリアを除いて面的な除染が完了しました。
So in order to um, remove or to overcome the impacts of the nuclear power plant disaster, the prefecture of Fukushima has been actively working on the decontamination efforts to restore the area. And other than the so-called difficult to return areas, the whole of the prefecture's decontamination was completed in 2018, March. 除染した物質の中間貯蔵施設への運び込みも2021年度中に概ね終わります。And the transportation of the large amount of decontaminated soil from this decontamination process to an interim storage facility is expected to be largely completed within 2021. このように除染を着実に進め、10年という歳月が経つ中で、福島県内の空間放射線量は大きく下がり、世界の主要都市と同じ水準にあります。Thank to,、uh, thanks to the steady progress in the decontamination and also the passing of the 10 years, the atmospheric radiation levels in Fukushima Prefecture have fallen significantly and are now in line with those of major cities around the world. このように除染が進む中で、避難指示区域の面積、一番多いときは2011年、県全体の面積の 12% ありましたが、それが今はその5分の1の 2.4% まで縮小することができました。And through this decontamination process, this has also led to a significant reduction in the evacuation zones that were established in Fukushima Prefecture. At their peak in 2011, these zones covered 12% of the total area of the prefecture. However, this has been reduced to around one fifth of that area, that is 2.4%. 今なお残っている 2.4% の避難区域の中にも一部復興拠点というエリアを作ってそこの避難指示解除を進めています。And in addition, even within these 2.4% of the area where the evacuation orders have not been lifted, some areas have been set aside as what are called special zones for reconstruction and revitalization, and there is、uh, focused work being carried out there. 次は福島県の農林水産物についてお話をします。Next, I would like to speak about some of the primary industry produce of Fukushima Prefecture. 福島県、日本は非常に厳しい安全基準値を作って、それを超えるものは一切マーケットに出荷をさせません。Uh, both Fukushima Prefecture and indeed the whole of Japan have very stringent safety standards, and、uh, products which do not meet these standards do not enter the market. In fact, the standard set in Japan that is of 100 becquerels as the、uh, standard amount of radioactive cesium allowed in food is 10 times、uh, more strict than those standards of, for example, the US, the EU, or other areas. そして私たちはこの基準に基づいた徹底的なモニタリング検査を行っています。We are also carrying out extremely、uh, tight monitoring of the produce. そしてお米ですと5年連続、野菜や果物は7年連続、さらに栽培したお肉、あるいはキノコなどは8年連続、基準を超えるものがありません。For example, in regards to rice, there has not been rice which exceeds these strict standards for five years in a row now. For vegetables and fruit, they have not exceeded the standard limits for seven years. And for meat and mushrooms, it is eight years that these standard limits have not been exceeded. Immediately following the nuclear power plant disaster, there were 54 countries which had restrictions prohibiting the imports of products from Fukushima Prefecture. However, this has now been reduced to just 15. 次は私たちが抱えている難しい課題、影についてお話をします。Next, I would like to speak about some of what we could call the dark sides or the ongoing challenges that Fukushima Prefecture is still facing. 10年の時が経過をしても、今なお3万5千人を超える方々が
福島県の県内、県外に避難生活を続けています。Uh, first of all, even now that 10 years have passed since the disaster, more than 35,000 people are still living in evacuation, both within or outside the prefecture. また、避難指示、解除はされましたが、残念ながら、比較的最近、避難指示が解除された地域には、なかなか人々がふるさとに戻ることがありません。And while the evacuation zones have been lifted of various areas,、uh, particularly in those areas where the order was lifted more recently, unfortunately, there is still not a high number of people, or not all residents, have been able to return to their homes even after that. So, I think that the most important issue is And for us, indeed, the most challenging or difficult issue is the decommissioning of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station. According to the roadmap of the national government, the entire decommissioning process is estimated to take the very long span of 30 to 40 years. また、溶け落ちてしまった燃料、燃料デブリといいますが、この現状も正確には分かっていません。On top of this, if we look for example at the issue of the molten fuel and how to remove this、uh, well, fuel debris,、uh, still the actual situation within the reactor is yet unknown. この30年から40年という長いスパン、廃炉対策が本当に安全に進められるかどうかが福島県の復興の大事な前提になります。So within this long span of 30 to 40 years, whether this decommissioning process will be able to be carried out safely is indeed a significant question on which the recovery of Fukushima is pending. 次に私たちを苦しめている風評の話をしたいと思います。And next, I would like to talk about the issue、um, from which we are still suffering, and that is the issue of rumors. しし I have just mentioned in regards to the agricultural products of Fukushima that there are very stringent safety measures in place and that the monitoring、uh, results of this have proven that indeed the produce is safe. しかし、今でも日本の国内でも福島県産の農産物はちょっと食べたくないなとためらう方がおられます。However, even within Japan, there are still people today who feel perhaps hesitant or that they do not really want to eat things which are coming from Fukushima. また、世界の国地域でも、先ほど見ていただいた通り、10年経っても15の国と地域が、福島県産の農産物の輸入制限、規制をかけています。And as I previously mentioned, even though 10 years have now passed, there are still 15 countries or regions in the world which do have restriction imports、uh, from produce which is coming from Fukushima. この風評を払拭するための特効薬はありません。私たち自身、正確な情報を発信し続けながら、ぜひ風評を払拭していきたいと考えています。Of course, there is no instant cure for fixing the situation of these kinds of rumors. Therefore, what is our challenge to do is to make sure that we can convey or disseminate accurate information in order to tackle this issue. 以上、皆さんに一つ目のキーワード、光と影についてお話をしました。So, to now, I have spoken about the first key word, which was the light and dark sides of Fukushima. 私たちはこれから光をもっと大きな光に育てていきたいと思います。And what we are wanting to do now is to turn this dark side into even greater light. 一方、影を光に変えていきたいと思います。We want to be able to change the dark into light. そのために必要なキーワードが二つ目のキーワードです。And this takes me to our second key word. それは挑戦チャレンジです。And the second key word is challenge. 
私たちはこの10年間それぞれの分野で複合災害を乗り越えるための数多くの挑戦を続けてきました。Since the disaster, we have been taking on challenges in various different fields in order to overcome the compound disaster. Of course, overcoming or responding to the impacts of the earthquake and tsunami is a great challenge. But on top of that, the nuclear power plant disaster, which was indeed something completely unprecedented, is a great challenge to be dealing with. And there have been many things which have not worked well or perhaps have failed along the way. しかし、私たち福島県はこれまでの10年間も、これからの10年、20年も、まだまだ挑戦を継続していかなければいけないと決意しています。However, as Fukushima Prefecture, we are determined that not only the 10 years until now, but to continue making what or taking what challenges we can in the 10 or 20 years as we approach from now as well. 今日は時間の関係もあるので、私たちが今行っている挑戦の一つをこう皆さんにご紹介したいと思います。Uh, today, time is somewhat limited, so I would like to pick one of these particular challenges to share with you today. So, the first one is innovation. And this is innovation which begins from the disaster affected areas themselves. Fukushima Ken Zentai no Seizo Hin Shuka Gakresga, Shinsai no Mai no Sui Jun wo Kono Junen de Uamaru Hodo Kai Fuk Sulu Koto Ga de Kimashita. So we can see here on this graph the value of shipments of manufactured goods for Fukushima Prefecture as a whole. And we can see that as a whole, it has been able to not only recover the pre disaster figures, but actually even exceed that. However, if we then look at the figures for the Hamadori area or the coastal part of Fukushima Prefecture, which was impacted by the tsunami, the earthquake, and the nuclear disaster, we can see that the figures are much more difficult. It has only recovered to 24% of pre disaster figures. それが福島イノベーションコースト構想です。And so in order to revitalize or revise this Hamadori region on the coast which has suffered the most, we are now promoting what is called the Fukushima Innovation Coast Framework. その構想の中核は、ハイオ研究、ロボット、エネルギーなどです。And the core of this project is decommissioning research, robotics, and energy. 今日はロボットについてご紹介したいと思います。Today, like、南相馬市に昨年、福島ロボットテストフィールドをオープンしました。Last year, the Fukushima Robot Test Field opened in the city of 南相馬。50ヘクタールの広大な敷地です。And it is on a vast site of 50 hectares. そこに無人航空機エリア、水中・水上ロボットエリア、インフラ点検・災害対応エリアなどの研究地域があります。And within this site, it is divided into various areas, including those for a drone airfield or drone vehicles, for infrastructure inspection and disaster response. そしてその地域では、干渉ネット付きの飛行場、試験用のプラント、風洞島など、ドローンの実証試験や操縦訓練など、さまざまな試験環境を揃えています。And within the area, there are various facilities are installed, which can be used for drone demonstrations, such as an airfield with an impact absorption net, a plant test building, and a wind tunnel building as well. そして、市街地フィールド、水没市街地フィールド。試験用の橋やトンネルでロボットによるインフラ点検や災害対応の実証試験も可能です
And it can also be used for conducting robotic infrastructure inspections or disaster response tests in, for example, city areas, submerged city areas, or uh, bridges and test tunnels as well. まだオープンして間もないのですが、すでに300を超える試験研究が全国から集まる企業や研究者の皆さんによって行われています。And although this facility was only opened very recently, already more than 300 different tests and research have been carried out using the test field by many different researchers and companies. 複合災害に見舞われた福島、その福島をロボット産業革命の地、福島にしていきたい。これが私たちの目標です。So, our goal now is to see how we can transform Fukushima from the place which experienced the compound disaster to Fukushima, the land of the robot industrial revolution. Fukushima can be a very difficult and difficult time to deal with the problems of the world. We will continue to challenge the Fukushima to the Fukushima to the Fukushima to the Fukushima. という強い思いを持っています。So while Fukushima as a prefecture is still facing many different issues or challenges, we are determined to do all we can to continue to take on these new steps forward, these new challenges, to do all we can to achieve the true recovery of the prefecture as the Fukushima、uh, Challenge Prefecture Fukushima. 今は新型感染症の影響もありますので、またコロナの状況が落ち着いてからで結構ですが、皆さんもチャンスがあったらぜひ福島に実際に足を運んで見て感じていただいて、福島県が復興が一歩一歩前に進んでいる姿を直接見ていただければ本当に嬉しく思います。Of course, now we are facing the impact of the COVID 19 situation. But I hope that once this has settled, once this has improved, you will please take the opportunity to come and visit Fukushima to see and feel it directly for yourself and see how, even if step by step, the recovery of the prefecture is continuing. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Governor.、Um, Well, after that interesting pres、um, presentation, we'd like to go into questions. We've got quite a few people in the room here as well as watching online.、Um, so, who would like to ask the first question? Yes. <laughs> あの福島は大好きなんですけれども、まあえー、と原発5年後に、まあ、ボランティアの形であの行ったり来たりあの手伝いしますのでものすごいあのそこで<笑>、あのーまあ、初恋みたいな感じですね、まあ、そこから少なくても10回ぐらい行ったり来たりなんですけどもで質問なんですけれども、えー、と昨日南ソマの市長ズバッと話したんですけれどもで彼があの原発ゼロ応援しますのでそこのスタンスで、えー、と選挙の時が落ちたんですねで知事は原発ゼロの考えはいかがでしょうかズバッともう話してほしいでもう一つはあの東京電力なんですけども、えー、と責任であの十分でしょうか今までによろしくお願いいたします。My name is Richard Susilo from an Indonesian media. I myself visited Fukushima more than、uh, 10 times, including as a volunteer, so I really fell in love with the prefecture. I have two questions. First of all, yesterday the former mayor of Minami Soma spoke here and spoke of his stance of being against or being、uh, promoting zero nuclear power, however, losing the election as a result of this. I would like to ask the governor's frank opinion on this zero nuclear power issue. And the second question is if you believe that TEPCO has taken responsibility. Now, I have a question about the fact that I have been in the past 10 years and I have been in the past 10 years. I have been in the past 10 years. I have been in the past 10 years. So, first of all, thank you very much. I was very moved to hear of your、uh, feelings towards Fukushima and the fact that you have visited more than 10 years, including for volunteering. Thank you very much for that. First of all, I have a question. 原子力発電所の関係です
So in regards to the first question on nuclear energy, 福島県は原発事故後、原子力に依存しない社会を作るということで、福島県内は原発が全部で10基あるんですが、この10基の原発すべてを廃炉にするということを強く政府と東京電力に求めてきました。So, since the Fukushima nuclear power plant disaster, the prefecture of Fukushima has taken the strong stance or strong policy of building a society which is not dependent on nuclear power. There were 10 reactors within the prefecture. However, we have emphatically asked both the national government and TEPCO for all of these to be decommissioned. It took time to reach zero nuclear power. まず事故を起こした4基の原発については早いタイミングでこの原発は廃炉にするということが決まりました。So first of all, in regards to the four reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant where the disaster occurred, it was very early on that the decommissioning of these four reactors was decided. そしてそれからしばらく経って第一原発の残りの2基の廃炉が決まりました。And some time after that, the remaining two reactors at Daiichi were again confirmed for decommissioning. So, I think that the government has been able to do it in the past few years. And since I took on the governorship,、um, I, we went and called many, many times to ask both TEPCO and the national government for the remaining four reactors in Fukushima to also be decommissioned. This did take time. However, we were finally able to have the commitment for all of the 10 reactors within Fukushima Prefecture to be decommissioned. So, this is now the official policy for Fukushima Prefecture. So, I think that the first thing that I want to do is to do the first thing. And the policy which I believe is very important from now is the 100% renewables policy. Fukushima Ken wa 2040 nen made ni sae ni 100% wo tasse suru to yu yoke teki na mokyo wo motte imas. Fukushima as a prefecture has the ambitious goal of reaching 100% renewables by the year 2040. Kono 10 nen kan de sae se kano energy wo hiyak teki ni fuyashi teki mashita. And we have been actively increasing renewables within the prefecture in these past 10 years. And so, first of all, within Fukushima, the electricity base which is being used at the moment, we have been able to reach 80% renewables for this in the prefecture. ただ、エネルギー全体で言えば、現時点ではまだ4割弱ですので 100% に行くにはイノベーションも含めてさまざまなチャレンジが必要だと考えています。However, if we look at the overall energy, it is just under 40%. So we can see that to reach a full 100%, we do need further innovation and challenges. 過酷な原発事故に見舞われた福島だからこそ再生可能エネルギー 100% を目指してこれからも研究開発また太陽光発電、風力発電など、あるいは水素エネルギーの利活用、こういったものに積極的に取り組んでいきたいと考えています。Because of the very fact that Fukushima did indeed experience the severe nuclear power plant disaster, it is very important that we can achieve this or show this, demonstrate the 100% renewables. For that purpose, then various research and development and also active initiatives in solar wind and hydro will be needed. 質問の2つ目は、東京電力の姿勢についてです。東京電力は、第一原発事故という極めて過酷な事故を起こし、福島県民に非常に厳しい負担をもたらし、今なおもたらし続けています。Uh, as a result of causing the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant,、uh, TEPCO indeed, or this accident, placed a great burden on the people of Fukushima, and this is something which is still continuing today. Tokyo Dendrick, the 
福島の復興に責任を持って臨むことが何よりも重要で、私はそれを常々東京電力の幹部に訴えています。Uh, for both TEPCO and the national government, what I believe is the most important is for them to continue to be responsible, to act responsibly in the recovery of Fukushima Prefecture for the, or for the very long time that this will take indeed to the very last. And this is something which I am always conveying to the executives at TEPCO. There are three particular challenges in which I believe that TEPCO should in,、uh, be involved. And the first is to have the decommissioning process of the Fukushima Daiichi plant where the accident occurred to be done with safety being held at the, at the highest priority and for this to be seen through to the very end. 2つ目は賠償です。The second issue is compensation. 福島県民の方々が非常に多くの新たな負担を受けることになりました。こういった受けた被害に対する賠償を最後の最後までしっかり講じることが重要です。And in regards to compensation, the people of Fukushima have had a very heavy burden placed upon them as well, from which they are still suffering. So it is important for this compensation issue to also be seen through thoroughly until the very conclusion. And the third issue is the local revitalization. 今東京電力の第一原発の事故によって特に浜通りの地域等が非常にこう人口も減って元気がなくなっています。福島第一ニュークパワープラントのディザスター、特に浜通りの地域等が非常に人口も減って元気がなくなっています。福島第一ニュークパワープラントのディザスター、特に浜通りの地域等が非常にこう人口も減って元気がなくなっています。福島第一ニュークパワープラントのディザスター、特に浜通りの地域等が非常にこう人口も減って元気風評払拭のために東京電力自身が日本国内のそれぞれの場面でできる限り協力をするこういったことをすることも地域の活性化にとって重要です。So, for example, initiatives which TEPCO should be taking are、uh, or include utilizing local businesses within the decommissioning process. Or also looking at the issue of how to deal with or get rid of the rumors, which I referred to as well. TEPCO should be making various efforts to cooperate in this regard throughout Japan as well. それれ These three challenges to which I've referred, which TEPCO needs to be involved with, are still very much in process at the moment. A long period of time will also be needed to implement them as well. So, as to the question of how I would evaluate how TEPCO is fulfilling this responsibility, as this is still something very much underway. Which will take a long period of time. I think that looking at how TEPCO will continue to contribute to the decommissioning and also the revitalization of the area will be the key point. Thank you. Thank you.、Um, any other questions from the floor? Please go ahead. Mike on the hold it.はい。
二つに分けてお話をしたいと思います。So I would like to respond to the issue of nuclear waste with two parts. まず一つ目は中間貯蔵施設における放射性廃棄物の問題です。The first is the issue of the nuclear waste at the interim storage facility. 中間貯蔵施設にはプレゼンでもお話したように福島県内で除染をした結果出た放射性物質を含む土壌、土がたくさん集められます。So all, well, process, 中間貯蔵施設というのはその名の通り最終処分場ではありません。And as indeed the name indicates, this is an interim facility, not a final disposal site. 中間貯蔵施設が立地するのは、福島県の大熊町と双葉町の2つの町です。And this interim storage facility is located in the two municipalities of Okuma and Futaba. 中間貯蔵施設の受け入れを決断する際、大熊町、双葉町、そして福島県として、3社で本当に悩んで悩んで悩み抜きました decide,、uh, facility, in, uh, decision, その結果苦渋の決断ではありましたが30年以内に県外処分を行うということを国が法制化、法律で定めることを大切な条件として受け入れを苦渋の決断したところであります。However, as a result, these three parties made the extremely difficult decision to accept to host this facility on the condition that the national government would put in law that the materials being stored here would be then transferred to outside of the prefecture within or by a 30 year deadline. すでに5年が経過をし、残り25年となっています。So then, so uh,、この国が法律に基づく約束を守るために、先日、小泉環境大臣、この中間貯蔵施設の担当大臣でありますが、私に次の話をしてくれました。And so, because of course, this、uh, promise has been made by the government under law as well, we have been speaking with the minister on, in charge of this issue, which is the minister of the environment, Mr. Koizumi. And recently he、uh, said to me on this issue. The promise which the national government has made to Fukushima by law will definitely be kept. So, the government has made to Fukushima by law will be implemented thoroughly from the beginning of the next fiscal year. これは最終処分に向けた大切なステップになると考えています。To 政府においては、立地自治体、あるいは県として苦渋の決断を行った、その苦しみを共有してもらい、しっかりこの約束を果たすために、これからも努力を続けていただきたいと考えています。And so、uh, I hope sincerely that this very difficult decision, which was made by us as the prefecture and the two host municipalities of the facility, that indeed the national government will make all efforts to make sure that they can truly understand, first of all, what a difficult decision this was, and indeed to ensure that this promise is fulfilled. And so next, I would like to speak about the fuel debris issue or specifically regarding to the spent fuel and radioactive materials. Fukushima Ken Niwa, Fukushima, Daichi Genpats, Daini Genpats, De K, Juki no Genpats Ga Arimas. In Fukushima Prefecture, there are the Fukushima Daichi and Daini nuclear power stations with a total of 10 reactors. 
そこに使用済みの燃料あるいは燃料デブリとなってしまったそういった溶け落ちた燃料等が存在しています。And within these, there is, of course, the molten、uh, materials, which is either the spent fuel or the debris. And this is very high levels of the radiation in the spent fuel. Fukushima Ken was so so more, Gen Pat Jiko got Okiru Maikara. You are the Gen Pat of Ukereta Dankai Kara desga, Shiozumi Nendio no Saishu Shobunchi dewa nai, Saishu Shobunchi dewa nara nai. ということを明確に申し上げてきました。Disaster, plants, uh, この使用済み燃料の問題は、福島の原発のみならず、日本全国にある原発の共通の課題でもあります。And the issue of spent fuel is indeed an issue not only for Fukushima Prefecture, but a common problem for all of the nuclear power plants throughout Japan. And this issue is, of course, an issue which has existed from the time when Japan started to、uh, use nuclear power plants. However, this Situation, this problem is continuing. It is ongoing now without the set direction or decision yet being made. この問題については、政府が原子力政策の中の極めて重要な要素となりますので、責任を持ってしっかり取り組んでいただくことを、これからも強く求めていきたいと思います。And because this is such an important issue, I would like to strongly call on the Japanese government to look at this as a very or an extremely important issue within its policy on nuclear power and to thoroughly and responsibly deal with this. Takashi-san, ご質問ありがとうございました Thank you, Mr. Takashi, for your question. Thank you.、Uh, next question, gentlemen. Thank you. また会場から一つ質問がございます。三条会員の浜平と申しますあの内堀知事にあのお忙しい時期にあの質問させていただいてありがとうございますあの。知事の言われましたダークサイドのチャレンジの部分に相当する問題かと思いますが、えー、汚染水問題、えー、知事の最初のプレゼンテーションには出てまいりませんでしたけども汚染水問題について知事のお考えをお尋ねしたいと思います。えー、9月と2月、つい3月ああの、菅総理大臣も汚染水、東電の福島の汚染水を見学されて、同じ、えー、ステートメントをなされたように記憶しております、えー。政治としても極めて重要な問題として速やかに解決をしたいと、こういうようなお話でございましたけれども、現実にはなかなか最終的な結論に至らず、去年の11月に梶山大臣があの汚染水問題に関してはまだ最終結論する状況にないということでその後具体的な提案がなされてないように思います、えー、風評被害の問題は特に水産業で非常に私は厳しい問題と受け止めておりましてこれは風評被害の払拭はですね震災前の状況に戻すというのが一番の風評被害対策じゃないかと思いますと言いますと政府案が去年の2月に出されまして、希釈して海洋放出というのは、どのような形であれ、風評被害を払拭する方法にはならないと思います。で、公聴会を通じて2、3の方が言われましたように、震災前の状況に戻すということであれば、ですね問題になっておりますトリチウムをですね何らかの形で除去して、えー、少なくした上で、希釈あの海洋放出するというのが震災前の状況に戻す一番の有効な手立てではないかと思いますけれどもあのトリチウムを分離するというテクノロジーは、えー、まだ商業化されておりませんけど現実には世界にございますでこのあたりをですね福島のあわかりました高層構想の中でですねこういう問題を取り上げて、えー、トリチウムの分離をして海洋に放出すると。いうお考えを知事お持ちになっておられないかどうか、このあたりをお尋ねしたいと思います。ありがとうございます
So I will summarize the question briefly in English. This is a question about the contaminated water issue, which was not referred to within the presentation. Of course, Prime Minister Suga has also recently visited the site and has made the statement that this is an important political issue which needs to be resolved soon. However, the reality is that uh, there is still not a final decision which has been made about this as well. And this is something which was stated last year by Minister Kajiyama as well. Particularly when we look at the issue of harmful rumors, these are especially an issue within the fisheries industry. Of course, the best way to get rid of these rumors would to be re to return the situation to as it was before the disaster. There has been a suggestion of uh, diluting the contaminated water and releasing it into the ocean. Uh, however, of course, this would not be a way which could eradicate these harmful rumors as well. Within the different hearings and so on, there has been discussion, for example, about uh, removing the tritium from the contaminated water as the most effective way. While it has not yet been made commercially uh, available, there is research or technology which is available which can break down the tritium within the contaminated water as well. So we'd like to ask the governor's position on the release of the contaminated water into the ocean and the tritium issue. Thank you for your question. So first of all, as a well, a, a precondition or a precedent before this as well, the government has, or the national government has not made its final decision about what to do with this treated water. So until now, the government has held many uh, so called public hearings to hear various different opinions. And within the voices which have been shared at these hearings, the majority are saying that they do not want this water to be released into the ocean. They want the continuation of the storage of the water in the tanks and that they are concerned about the issue of rumors. Kishimakenaino,日時自治体からは、タンク保管がこれ以上継続されると、その地域の復興に支障が出る。あるいは、ふるさとに住民の皆さんが戻ろうという思いが薄れてしまうという心配の声もあります。on the other hand, within the host municipalities, there are also some concerns as well. For example, if the storage in the tanks is to continue, that this could prove a recovery or an obstacle to the recovery of that area, or that it could make people hesitant to want to return to live once again in the area as well. So the issue of treated water, I think, is an issue which the people not only of Fukushima, but indeed all of Japan, should look at how the most accurate information can be uh, conveyed and understood. And the most important issue is how to deal with rumors. Uh, there must not be allowed to be any kind of impact of the treated water issue on the primary industries, agriculture and fishing and so on in Fukushima, nor on its tourism industry. There needs to be thorough policies put in place. Fukushima県としては、これまでも機会あるごとに具体的な風評対策を講じること。uh, until now, on every opportunity, Fukushima as a prefecture has called for uh, all concrete measures regarding rumors to be done and also for accurate information to be conveyed. So we hope that the national government will consider this issue of the release of water into the ocean based upon, <coughs> of course, the opinion of us as the Fukushima prefecture, but also bearing in mind various other opinions as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, any other questions from the floor?
会場から他はいかがでしょうか If not, then actually I'd like to ask a question myself、um, about the communities、um, in the coastal areas of Fukushima.、Um, people who've evacuated from those areas due to the nuclear disaster have now been away from their former homes for, for 10 years. How realistic is it to expect them to actually come back to live in those areas eventually?、Um, Or is it more realistic to actually try to attract people from other areas who, who, do, who don't have roots in Fukushima to come in as new residents?、Um, and in that context, I think one of the things that you're going to need、uh, to provide as Fukushima is jobs.、Um, you've talked about the high tech industries that you hope to attract.、Um, What kind of jobs could you、uh, bring in that could replace、uh, the numbers of jobs that we saw at the nuclear reactors?、Um, and I've heard talk of a kind of a, a university or research center that might be established along the coast.、Uh, can you tell us anything about that idea? では司会の方から質問させていただきます。あのマハマドリの海岸沿いの地域についてなんですけれども、まあ、そういった場所から避難された方をまあ離れても10年が経つということになります。まあ、10年が経って違うところで今生活をしているわけなんですけれども、それでもやは,やはりもともと住んでいたと,ところに帰還するということは、まあ現実的なのか、もしくはもともと住んでいた方々以外にですね、そこにルーツのない新しい人たちが住民としてそういった地域に新しく来るということが考えられるのか、その点についてまずお願いします。そして、まあ、やはり新しい人たちが引っ越してくるためには、やはり雇用ということが非常に大きな問題になるかと思うんですけれども、先ほどのプレゼンテーションの中で、例えばハイテックの産業ですとか、そういったような話があったと思いますが、以前、まあ、あの原発で、あのにあったまあ雇用の数と同じような、まあ、大きな雇用を作れるような産業というのはどういうことが考えられるのかでそれに関して大学ですとか研究センターなどという話を伺ったことあるんですけれどももしあのそれについて教えていただければと思いますよろしくお願いします、はい、イサベルさんご質問ありがとうございます Thank you, Isabel, for your question. まず一つ目の質問は避難者のふるさとへの帰還それから外から入ってくる移住者の問題についてお答えします。So first, like、home, これまでの10年間、私たちは国の避難指示によって、ふるさとから避難を余儀なくされた方々が、できるだけ早くふるさとに安心して帰れるような環境づくりを一生懸命進めてきました。In the 10 years until now, we have done all that we can to try and ensure that those people who were forced to evacuate from their original hometowns due to the national evacuation orders feel at ease and feel that they are indeed able to return once again to the places where they originally lived. ふるさとに居住しています。So for example, if we look at some of the municipalities where the evacuation orders were lifted relatively early, such as Kawauchi and Samura,、uh, the population of these areas has returned to about 80% of the pre-disaster levels. また数年前に避難指示が解除された奈良浜町では約6割の方がふるさとに戻っています。And in regards to Naraha, where the evacuation order was lifted several years ago, it is now up to about 60% of people returned. 一方、まだ最近、避難指示が解除されたばかりの大熊町、浪江町は、まだ一桁 10% にも達していません。However, on the other hand, those areas where the orders were recently lifted, that is, for example, Okuma and Namie, it is still in the single digits. It has not yet reached 10% of the previous levels. このように避難指示が解除されたタイミングが早いほどふるさとに帰ろうという動きは活発ですし一方でやはり10年近くの経過ありますと新しい避難先の土地に皆さん生活が馴染んだりお子さんが学校に通っていたり新しい仕事に就いたりでなかなかふるさとに避難指示解除されたからすぐ戻れるかといえばそういうことにはならないと思います。So, within a situation, we can see that the earlier that the evacuation lifters are ordered, 
uh, orders, are, sorry, orders are lifted, the more people are indeed returning to these areas as well. We are now seeing the situation, however, as 10 years have passed, where evacuees, of course, in their new locations, they are building new lives in these new places as well. Children going to schools, people having new jobs. Therefore, even when the evacuation orders are lifted, it is perhaps difficult to make a decision to return straight away. 私たちの避難者の皆さんに対する考え方が2つあります。There are two particular things which we, we believe in regards to the evacuees. まず、これまでもこれからも避難者の方々が安心してふるさとに帰れる環境を作る、避難指示の解除のエリアを増やす、そしてやはり元に近い、できるだけ近い生活ができる環境を整える、これが行政としての責務だと考えています。So, the first, and this is what we believe is our responsibility as the local government, is to first of all make sure that, well, this has been until now and from now as well, but to ensure that evacuees can feel or that we can create an environment where they can feel able to safely return once again to where they live, in order to do that, also to increase as much as possible the areas where the evacuation orders have been lifted and to ensure that people can live their lives as close to pre disaster as possible as well. 次は2つ目の考え方ですが、今、ふるさとに帰れる環境を作るというお話を強調しましたが、一方で、それは皆さんにふるさとに戻りなさいとか、戻るべきだということではありません。And the second point, although I did emphasize that we are looking at creating an environment in which people can go back, I would like to also emphasize that this is, this is not asking or requesting people, ordering people to go back at all. 避難者の皆さんの世帯一つ一つ、あるいはお一人お一人がすべて異なる考え方、あるいは思いを持っています。したがって、我々行政としては、避難者の皆さんお一人お一人の気持ちを尊重して変えられる方もいる。今、移住先、また避難先のところで定住される方もいる。あるいはまだしばらく悩む時間が欲しい。いろんな考え方があると思いますので、それを尊重します。Of course, each and every, whether it's an individual or a household of evacuees, has their own situation, their own way of thinking, their own perspective on the circumstances as well. Therefore, as the government, we want to respect or we do respect the decision and way of thinking, the perspective of each and every of the evacuees as well. Of course, some will want to and do return, some would prefer to. Permanently relocate in the area where they have newly moved to, and some want more time to think about or ponder、uh, this issue as well before making a decision. So, as the government, we strongly respect that. 移住政策についてですが、今年の4月、来月から5年間、第2期復興創生期間という新しいステージに入ります。And as to the policies for having new residents moving to the area, Uh, from the next fiscal year, we will be entering the second phase of our sort of recovery policies. この5年間で、福士双葉郡浜通りにですね、外から新たに入ってくる移住者の数を増やすという政策を国、県、自治体が連携をして積極的に進めていきたいと思います。And within this new five year plan, it also includes policies which will be implemented together by the local municipality, the prefecture, and the national government to encourage new residents to be moving to Futaba County in the Hamadori area. No, two hold of Tatsumeno Simon de Mohanasho Shimasga, Jitsua, Kono Hamadori de Koyo no Banga Fuete even the Saga, Hataraku Hito が少なくて困っています And this is linked、uh, to my response to the second question as well. But it's actually the fact that there are more jobs being created in the Hamadori region, but not enough people to fill them. And this is actually an issue, that, a problem that we are facing now. もちろん、ふるさとに戻った方にも働いていただきたいんですが、一方で、ぜひ外から入ってくる新しい方々が一緒になって、この地を復興していくというのも、復興の大事な一つの形だと思います。Of course,、uh, having people who are returning to live in their hometowns again and having, ensuring that they have places to work is one important factor. But another important factor for the recovery is also having people who are coming in newly from outside and having them be able to work together and create this recovery together as well. ままま 
加えて移住者の促進策も両方やるということであるということを誤解しないでいただければと思います。So, within the next five years,、uh, efforts will be put into this policy of encouraging new residents to come and live in the area. However, the point that I would want to make sure that there is no misunderstanding is that this does not mean that the policy of、uh, providing the space for people to return to live in the area will stop as well. The policy for providing the environment for people to return will continue. And on top of this, or additionally, there will be the policy for、uh, encouraging、uh, new residents. 次はイサベルさんの2つ目の質問、雇用の問題をお話します。So in more detail regarding the employment issue, which was referred to in Isabel's question. 今、この浜通りの地域には2つの雇用、非常に重要な動きがありまして、1つは新しい産業の雇用、それからもう1つは、もともとこの地域にある第一次産業、農林水産業等の雇用、この両方が必要です。So, in regards to the employment for the Hamadori region now, there are two particularly、uh, important areas or moves. First of all, is looking at new industry, and the second is looking at the industry which was already existing in the area, that is, primary industry, including agriculture, fisheries, and forestry. And so, within this region, because there are not enough people to work in the primary industry, it means that there are you know, rice fields or other fields which are actually you know, going empty and going under,、uh, not being used. Please, if you have a lot of people who are in the primary industry, please, for example, if you have a lot of people who are in the primary industry, その地域に入ってきた方がお花を栽培して、今、東京とかにもそのお花を販売をしていて、非常に活発にお仕事をしていただいていますが、こういう形も非常にいい復興の形になると思います。And so, of course, one element of that is having people who were already farming in these places before the disaster to come back once again. And to be、uh, working in agriculture in their hometowns once again. But there are also、uh, new approaches or new ways to look at this as well. As you can see behind me, there is this bouquet of flowers.、Uh, actually, this is a new business which was developed by、uh, some of the people who came as new residents to the area as well and are growing these flowers and then selling them to Tokyo. And this is a very active project which is going on now, which I think is one good example of,、uh, of an industry for recovery. Mata. 大熊町、双葉町、奈良葉町など、それぞれの避難指示区域だったエリアで、新しい工場が今、どんどん作られて、そこで働く人たちが必要になっています。ぜひ、ふるさとに戻った方にも働いていただき、あとそれで足らない部分、ぜひ全国から集まってきた方が、復興の担い手として一緒に参加していただけることが、未来にとってプラスになると考えています。And also, in for example, the towns of Okuma, Futaba, and Naraha, in areas where evacuation orders have been lifted, there are new factories which are being built in many of these places as well. And of course, these factories will need workers to be employed there as well. I hope, of course, that people will be able to return once again to live in these areas, the previous residents, and work there. But on top of that, to fulfill the additional employment needs there as well, I hope that people from all over Japan. Can indeed come and work together there as partners in the recovery process, and this will indeed be a plus for the future. So, the third was in regards to capacity building or human resources and education. And so, within the Fukushima Innovation Coast Framework, which is being promoted at the moment,、uh, there is consideration of as a national、uh, government project to build a new education and research center there. Of course, it is not machines or computers that will be able to implement the recovery. It is people. So, the Jinza Ixay no Tabini, Aratana Koksai Kyoik Kenkyu Kyoten to you, Bao Tskutte, Innovation Coast Coast, and Fukumaretiriona, Hairo, Robotto, 
エネルギーこういった日本でも世界でもトップレベルの研究をする場を作ってそこに福島の方も参画をしまた外から入ってくる方も一緒になって非常に高いレベルの研究を行ってこの地域の復興の担い手になっていくということを目指そうと考えています。And so, within this, looking at well, how to ensure that is the people who are in charge of the recovery to have capacity development or human resources as part of this is why there is this plan to develop a、uh, international education and research base within the so called Fukushima Innovation Coast framework as well.、Uh, the framework includes the decommissioning research, robotics, and energy. And so, we are looking at how to have top level、uh, possibilities for research and capacity building for people from Japan and also indeed from around the world to be engaged in there as well. For people locally from Fukushima to be involved in this research and together with people from outside. And so, if we can have these very high level research、uh, facilities and、uh, programs available there, this can also、uh, nurture people who can be partners in the recovery process. しし継続的にかつ効率的に行う農業、こういったものも目指していきたいと考えています。So as I mentioned, this area traditionally was an area of agriculture. However, of course, if we are looking at continuing agriculture in the area, it will not be just implementing or using the same techniques and methods that have always been used as well. It will be effective to look at how we can have so called smart agriculture using computers, using AI, using drones, and so on as well. Therefore, within the capacity development or research programs within this new facility, looking at how we can、uh, introduce these kinds of、uh, techniques into、uh, agriculture to ensure that it can fit the current and future areas as well. And this will indeed make it more effective and sustainable. でただ大事なことは福島の復興は今言ったような大胆な積極的な前向きの策これもぜひ進めたいと思いますが一方でもともとあった当たり前の生活を取り戻すこのきめ細かい施策がベース基軸にあってこその新しい施策だと思いますしたがって元の生活を取り戻すという部分とそれから新しい未来に向けた部分とこの両方を両立させることがこの地域の復興にとっては重要だと考えています。So I've spoken just now about some of these you know, very positive or active new issues as well. This is indeed、uh, important for the recovery, but these great active steps forward are, of course, not the only thing which is needed. At the same time, it is、uh, crucial that this is built upon the basis of very detailed measures and detailed processes to help people be able to return to their previous lives, these lives that they had always taken for granted in these areas as well. So, having this balance between recovering people's lives, restoring people's lives, and looking towards the future will be very important as we move forward. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you so much, Governor.、Um, we've already taken up too much of your time. I'm afraid it's eight minutes past eleven.、Uh, uh, so, I think we'll have to make that the last question. Thank you so much for joining us despite your busy schedule.、Um, we can't hand it straight over to you from here, but we have.、Um, An invitation for an honorary membership for a year at the club.、Um, when you're a bit less busy, when the pandemic dies down, we very much hope that you'll come and join us here sometime. Thank you very much indeed, Governor. Thank you, everyone.